<laughs> All right, welcome, chat. Welcome, everyone, to Risen Tuber, a new dating show with nine VTubers and me. I'm the host. Well, this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna ask five questions to eight of these VTubers, and they're gonna try and date Kason. The VTuber with most points gets to date with Kason. It's simple. Kason, our star guest, needs to get wooed by our eight guests. Let's go through the introductions. Right in front of me. I'm going home. Kason left the show. I'm going home too, man. All right, let's do the introductions. Kay. Oh, hello. I'm Kason. Hello. I'm Rainy. Hi, I'm Camila. I'm Giga. Hello. Hi, I am, I am, I'm, uh, I'm Shirok. Hi, my name is Cotton Telvier. Hi, Shirok. my name is Porcelain Maid. Hi, I'm Spongy. Hi. Hi, I'm uh, Mako. I'm a uh, shark. If I, I turned know, I you think... over, I think you would like turn off. If Hit somebody you drops nose, you on like, your corner, you shatter into a million pieces. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Drozzy, that don't know how it's gonna go. My mind blanked. Anyway, there's gonna be five questions. No head. one's getting eliminated oh, yeah. at all today until the end. Nice. Everyone is here until the end. All everyone right. answers all the questions and everyone gets graded on the questions. At the end, we will reveal the score and one person can win. Maybe two can win. We'll see what happens. The idea on this show is that I don't want to do just another dating show. This is gonna be a little bit different because I'm thankful for you guys for joining. I want you guys to be here until the end. So I'm not gonna eliminate anyone Aww. until the show God ends. is so cute. <laughs> No Energy. one's gonna get eliminated, but can I eliminate someone? I'm gonna say no because I feel like you're gonna eliminate me even though I'm not part of the show. <laughs> Here's how it goes. Question number one. We're going on a date. What does the first date oh. look like? Hear me out. Instead of touching grass, we go to the nearest pizza place and we touch concrete in the parking lot. That is nice. Let's fucking go. What does the British <laughs> pizza taste like? Uh, the pizza? Uh, the British pizza. What does it taste like? Uh, so... <laughs> So much sausage. So much sausage. <laughs> sausage on a pizza? I'll be honest. Eliminate her. No, 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 uh, I think it would be really nice to go on like a little walk throughout the nightlife of a town. If anyone comes up, we can beat the shit out of them and, you know, maybe take over a little delinquent gang, make them run errands for us. Okay, so hear me out. We start at the Skeld, okay? We do our little tasks together. First, we go med bay and we, we lay down. We lay down on the beds. Stop laughing! We lay down on the... It's not funny, guys. We lay down on the little beds and we kick our feet. That's when we get to reactor and we do Simon Says together. And I'll, I'll watch you patiently with big starry eyes watching the beautiful woman do Simon Says. We end at a electrical the lights are off i'm blushing nervously i can feel you there i feel your breath against my arm is this a i, I, I get all <laughs> no it's from my brain joel sorry you're not fucking creative i don't know i'm gonna press the emergency anyway <laughs> what happens next find out in the next um episode of riz a tuber maybe mm -hmm. maybe on admin table next time <laughs> What? Wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna continue with question number two. Basically, you're planning a surprise trip. You're surprising Kason with a surprise trip. Where are you going? What are you doing? Why did you choose that? Go ahead. For me to surprise you, I'm Middle Eastern, so I'd probably take you to a country where it, you know, signifies me. So I'd probably take you to Dubai and we could do all the really, really cool stuff. Yeah, fun. And that way you get to learn a lot more about my heritage and stuff. And then we go where you are and I learn about you too. Where are you gonna surprise me? So there's this thing in Dubai where it's like in the ocean, they have like a giant map. It's like actual islands, but they're formed after the entire map of the world. It's super freaking cool. So Ooh, cool, yeah. Is that true? Really? Can't confirm. Oh. It's true. It's they have really, like really artificial cool. islands, right? Artificial yeah. islands, yeah. I'll take you to my most favorite place in the world, which is New York City. We go to oh. New York. There's everything you can possibly do in New York. I feel like it would be the best place to travel because then whatever you want to do in that moment, we could just go do it. You know what I mean? You want to go to the beach? They're great beaches. You want to go on a hike? They're great hikes. You want to go to a club? Oh. They're great clubs. You know what I mean? Because we could do 
everything in New York. Everything. Oh, and I know all the good wait. spots. Copium. Did you say copium? That uh, I know no, I didn't say No, no, I didn't say I've no. literally oh. spent so many years there. Um, an amusement park. <laughs> Maybe we can go to like Disney or something. I'm gonna be honest with you. Surprises are something that I personally don't enjoy. And I think it's always better to talk these things over because maybe someone has something planned. Or maybe, you know, I, I know I'm kind of building my own grave here, but I'm, I'm very considerate on others, I feel like. And I don't want to be a bother. So, um, probably an amusement park, but I would probably ask you where to go first. <laughs> All right, Kason. we get into the car. It's a nice little drive. It's nighttime. We get out of the car. I cover your eyes with my hands. I have a little oh. surprise for you. Oh. It's a little chilly. I open up my hands and you look and where are we? We're at a graveyard. Oh. What? Why are we doing at a graveyard? And so I walk you through the graveyard and in the hole are your enemies. I took care of them, Kason. You're welcome. I know that you could have handled them yourself, but your enemies are in the oh. grave now. I took care of them. Don't worry about oh it. Oh my god. And so let's get back into the car and you know, we're gonna go on a little ramen date now and warm ourselves up she took care of my enemies that's nice oh you know how much enemies i have yeah whoa we got bold case on yeah, your weird. bald head is so wonderful i love how shiny it is does it go like <laughs> go on and slap it oh my god hold on <laughs> i got you uh, <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna switch it up the order and next questions are gonna be a little deeper because it's important that we get to know each other on a deeper level, not just on a shallow level. So okay. question number three is, what are your okay. aspirations in life? Um, I'm actually studying psychology because I want to help companies and specifically gaming companies take better care of their employees and take good care of the way that their companies are running. And I want everybody to be able to play video games and have accessibility to make sure that nobody ever gets really sad while playing video games again. Right now, I'm just, I, I want to be a little VTuber right now. And I want to raise money so that I can take care of my dad and send him through flight school because he actually dropped out of flight school to take care of me. And I want to be able to just be there for my dad, even if it's like one little plane trip. I just want to keep streaming and entertaining people because I think it's really important to make a nice little safe space that has comedy that isn't going to like bother anybody and just some do something that everyone can enjoy while also having a good time with all the people in my chat. Uh, growing up, I had a few family members who deal with uh, a lot of things like chronic pain and depression. And so uh, when I graduated high school, I wanted to be a nurse. But then I was like, oh. I don't really want to wipe people's asses. So I didn't do that. <laughs> just what RBR's ass. Oh what? Did okay, but you just toilet? need the Q-tip for that like <laughs> so little <laughs> And I found out that acupuncture can help with those things. Uh, I studied that for three years and I just really want to stab people to heal them. And oh. I just want to make them feel good because I know seeing people in pain makes me upset, obviously. My aspiration is that I want to like be able to hang out with people more and like actually reply to people and be more confident. And it's, it sounds so simple, but it's something that is really difficult for me, which is also why I'm here today to help me oh. to get there at some point. I think that is my aspiration to get out of my shell more be more confident in myself. It's hard because I have a lot of aspirations, but literally, yeah, I think I want a lot of money so I can do a lot oh. of things. My short term, like midterm goal is make as much money as I can. So that way I could retire early and then just like do philanthropy. Apps. I want to start a scholarship fund. So I want to be able to like use my own talents to fund things that can help like in that way. And uh, I want to start a cat sanctuary. So my goal is make money so I can fund like a lot of projects relating to that sort of stuff. My biggest aspiration right now is to be financially stable enough with this job to support him completely so he has to never work again. Yeah, my dream is to is to is to actually follow my dreams and be an inspiration for people who maybe didn't have such a good time and I want to be there for people who were hurt. So my my inspiration has always been make enough money to pay all of my parents debt that I uh, accumulate because of us, make them quit their jobs and live the rest of their years in in bliss. Oh I love our PR. <laughs> How sweet are you? Oh. That was the most British thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs>
So right now, I'm the only one working in uh, my family. They're enjoying their life with my money <laughs> right now. I think I'm making <laughs> enough to satisfy my mom, Dan, rest of my family. So I think I've um accomplished a lot of dreams with VTubing. Um, oh. Yeah, but you know, yeah, I do love VTubing. I still love it. There was so much hard times. It was hard, but um, you know, I worked hard and made it. Mm. Yeah. I'm holding <laughs> your hands. hands. We're holding we're Aww. holding hands. We're kissing. We're hugging. Thank deep breath, you. folks. This was deep. I hate that all you guys are good people. Pisses me off. Disgusting. I can like change my Awful. aspiration if you want. Oh, no. You want like a low score? I can make a lower aspiration. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Right now. I want to hear it. I've already rated you. I want to hear it. I really want to go on a date with a lot of milfs. I love moms so much. <laughs> I think moms are so fucking good. Milfs are like my aspiration in everyday life. They are so Joel. fucking good. What is a dream you let go of and why? Oh, stop. Well, you know, love is all about crying and laughing. You know, you can't have one without the other, right? So, really? want to see how hard I can cry? No. Oh. Please. <laughs> We're gonna to impress Kason with how hard I can cry. Watch this. <laughs> uh, Maka, you're up first. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I really wanted to work in the gaming industry. I actually applied for an internship with Riot. I actually just got the email uh, last week that I will not be working there. And they basically were like, no, we will not be hiring you. Um, it was really hard for me, but I think it's time right now to let go and focus on the things that I have in front of me. And we work on one thing at a time. One day, maybe my dream will come back, yeah? Fuck Riot. Mm -hmm. Let's all boycott Riot games right now. Yeah. Right. No! They're never gonna hire me! No! Uh, I dated someone who got into the Disney program in college. They were so amazing that I was just like, wow, I give up. I'm gonna be a fashion designer. And I struggled like every day, like to go to college over different things, like mental things. And so eventually I, was, I chose to, I was doing a League of Legends content creating on Twitch.tv. I was an IRL streamer and I was making more money just doing that. So I just focused on that. Now I'm a VTuber. Oh yeah, I, went, I, went, I just kept giving up one after another. Thank God, the League of Legends one. Thank God we gave that one up. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. That was bad. <laughs> Next up, we have Joel. My main aspiration has only ever been streaming, and I've been doing it for so long that I don't even think I could give up even if I wanted. If I had something, maybe art, but that's not really given up on. That's maybe just lost the motivation for. As I became more into streaming, I just learned that I enjoyed streaming more than art, and I just kind of fell off with how much I liked doing art, and I just really enjoy being with my chat and being with other VTubers and enjoying myself. So basically what you're saying, fell, you fell off plus L plus ratio. Oh my you god. You literally just stole the <laughs> joke from Sai in the chat. You What's have no wrong original with content. You? Guys, our PR you're, is like 12 years old. He's not done developing yet. Give him a right. I'll let him live. I'll Can let we him stop live with this shit? The dream that I did let go was being a musical theater kid. And so I did a an audition at the university where I studied acupuncture. And as opposed to Joel falling off, quote unquote, I fell straight on my face <laughs> in front of the stage of all of the judges. And I bombed the audition because that was just a bad bad audition and so i kind of gave up on that i don't like to focus on that i like to think i got redirected to do what i was supposed to do and i'm i'm happy i'm happy doing youtubing so you know what i don't i don't think about it often I try not to honestly my dream was kind of to the video editing and like ocean graphics stuff and design and all these kind of things and i didn't necessarily like go of that goal but i noticed that going into the industry i burned out quite badly and whenever I actually do something now, the fun that I once had in it is just not there anymore. And I feel like it's the idea of the focus on this is my job kind of ruined it for me in a way. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of it, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I expected some Dijon stuff out of these questions. Why did I expect that? <laughs> Wait, what did, Sorry, what did you bad. mean? Did you the read the How questions or did you write them in a fucking drunken stupor? You got this off of like the top 10 questions to ask parties. <laughs> So the only thing I gave up on was I had, I did a sport and then I also played an instrument and I was studying damn brainy stuff. So I just kind of like did everything. I spent all my time doing all of those things and uh, nothing else. I ended up injuring myself because I practiced too much and I like overdid it. And I got an injury in one of my arms, like is irreversible. So I had to give up both of those things because I physically couldn't. So yeah, I had to give up on those two because I physically couldn't do them.
My biggest passion before streaming was art and drawing, specifically cartoon drawing. And I actually got hit up by one of the studios from Cartoon Network. And the show was Steven Universe, by the way. I got offered to go work there, but the issue was, okay, so obviously my dad works a lot, so he's never home to take care of my mom. But my mom, she has a lot going for her, so she has a lot of health issues. So I couldn't just leave her alone. So I had to deny the offer as much as it sucked because I really, really wanted that. But my mom's health always comes first. And so I stayed home and I took care of my mom for the rest of my time. Yeah. I had to give up my dream of being a singer because of some pretty severe treatment in school. But it's okay because I like to think that I gave it up for a short while, but now because of YouTubing, I'm able to, to chase it again. So um, yeah, I just want to shine like I wanted to when I was younger. I gave up singing because of a stupid reason, really. When we used to sing at our house, my brother would always make fun of me with the, with the way I sing and call me no! tone deaf. And then because of that, I subconsciously created like a idea in my head that I shouldn't sing because it sounds bad. That's an old thing that I feel like I've already gotten over with because I've already released <laughs> numerous covers, like five or now already. What, what happened is Vito been kind of enabled for me to like get over that fear and it kind of introduced the idea of that I could possibly like still get into it. And same with the guitar. I dropped the guitar because my best friend was like really good at the guitar. So I don't really have the time to put in as much as he do. I'm playing games i'm trying to go pro so i dropped it but now i made a decision like i'm gonna get back into the guitar i'm gonna learn on stream i'm gonna Ooh. learn with stream Ooh. and we're gonna, yeah. we're, gonna, oh. we're gonna be good at the game well there is a dream that i don't want to let go um which is to be in a game in my favorite game yakuza and i'm auditioning right now so that is the dream i don't know when it's gonna be but if i make it i'm gonna be in the game <laughs> I'm gonna know if my dream comes true or uh, I'm gonna let it go. I don't know, but there's no dream that I let go because I keep on trying again and again Fuck and again. Yeah. yeah, I've never gave up anything in my life. Yeah, so if they're smart, yeah. they're gonna pick you up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Let me in! <laughs> <laughs> Our next question is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's gonna be kind of funny. It's really simple. It's child, your best pickup line on Kason. And I think we're gonna give Rainy the floor again. We're going back from the start. Rainy. Okay. Okay, daddy. I didn't hear any British. My British ear was ready. You guys have subtitles on? I don't. Uh, okay. So basically, what she said <laughs> for her I was body. I'm so ready for a British English. I didn't even know what she was saying. Wait, for like, real? <laughs> <laughs> you want to redo it's that, Rainy? My brain was Give... so British English. I wasn't ready for any Japanese. All right, love. You're looking well lush, isn't it? Looking absolutely. <laughs> looking well lush, there, babe. I fucking. I'm really suffering here. Please okay, okay. You're done. You're done. You're Thank done. You. You're done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Kaisan, did you just fart? <laughs> I did. Because you just blew me away. Oh my god! <laughs> so mad. <laughs> so mad. Do you like antiques? Oh yeah. Yeah. I got some old dusty junk that needs inspecting. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so oh. oh my god. I thought this was the Riz of VTuber, but no Riz was detected, I swear to <laughs> god. Alright, shit up. I pray for you. Oh, I pray for myself. Hello, uh, Kason. Um. <laughs> I'm so I'm so I, I, I'm I sorry. I, I can't breathe when I'm with you. You're so breathtaking. <gasps> Oh, oh my god. god! You guys smell that? I smell some bacon, eggs, and riz! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kason, I like those bandages on your chest. Oh. Yeah, you know, they look really good on my bedroom floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm familiar with those noises. I can't wait to hear them later tonight. Excuse yeah. me, that was two? That's yes, not allowed to do two. You're limited to one. Yeah. Yeah. You're limited to one. Hey, Kason, are you hungry? Oh, uh, yeah. I well, I, I've got some nice porcelain for you to eat on tonight. Oh my god. Dude, it's not edible. It's called a plate, dipshit. That's what it is, Do <laughs> you not understand how eating works? Do you just use your hands every day of your life? Spongy, wrist it up, legendary Riz. I got a legendary Riz. Hey, Kason, what do you get when you go to bed with an itchy butthole? Oh.
What do I get? <laughs> you get a stinky finger, but with me, it could be my finger. Uh, poor Tommy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> my ass itches. I'm going down. <laughs> this is going down again. <clears throat> hey, Kason, are you from Mississippi? Because oh. you're the only miss. Hey! Because you're the only miss <laughs> who's pissed I sippy. Oh I knew that. that was really original. Okay, I'll just come up with another one then. Um, <laughs> no, wait, you're really he's hot. cheating. Wait, I didn't even see that someone said it in chat. I've been planning this since the beginning. <laughs> Wait, no, ignore her, ignore her, ignore her. No! All right, we reached the end, the ending of all okay. the questions. Oh, Before yeah. I reveal the scores, I do want to say that I think you guys did, all, all of you did amazing. I want to date all of you guys. All right, so I'm telling up the scores right now. We're going to go from bottom to top as per usual. Uh. Last place <laughs> is Mako. Thank you so much for joining I us. Hate it. <laughs> <laughs> The scores are very close. It's not like you lost. Be honest. Was it the fish question or was it the Among Us question? I'm gonna be honest with you. You fucked up on that Among Us question. I'll be real with you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Shira, you got yeah. seventh place. But That's thank, okay. thank you so much for joining us. I wish you a lot of success in the future, no matter what you do. That sounds like we're never gonna see each other again. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the last day. <laughs> it's, it's goodbye Don't forever. In the sixth place, Rainy British. Rainy. I can't believe you've done this. I can come okay. last right though. Let's go! In fifth place, our only male contender. It's Joel. me. I'll talk all to you I later. hope is that Giga is not in first place. That is all. Thank you. I want you to know, I use both my eyes to look at Kason. Giga has an iPad on half the time. She's getting the side eye from like a McDonald's drive through window. I'm just putting it out there. It's a fashion choice, Joel. You Good luck, get everyone it. else. <laughs> Next up, we have Camilla. Oh, barely, barely, Camilla. barely. Barely, and I'm talking about we're almost here at full marks, okay? You know, Camilla, I love you. Thank you so much for joining the last minute. I love you. you almost, <laughs> you almost went and did another thing, and you sacrificed that for me. Thank you so course, much. Bro, I love you, man. You know I love you. Bye, Camilla. Bye, Camilla. Oh, I love shit and fart. Shit and fart. <laughs> <laughs> In third place, by one point, by the way, is Spongy. Sadly. Oh. It's okay. You lost by one Thank point. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, so RPR. I love you. It was a lot of fun. I promise not to bring you to a graveyard next time. L, 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 L. L, L. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And now oh it's between you two. Is it the grandma or the horny? Who the won? The grandma. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna rule the winner right now. I think it comes with no surprise that Cottontail has won by a couple points. I wanna say thank you, Giga. You literally came in last second. You spotted in and you came in here. You got second place. So you mm -hmm. slayed. Thank you so much. Thank I'm, you, I'm, Giga. I'm oh miss my god. Giga. I see you next time. Oh, bye, Giga. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. <laughs> For our winner, Contel, we're gonna switch our screen to the winning screen. Look at that, we have a winning screen. Wow, the production in this stream is insane. Unbelievable production. We have two screens, I won, but two. You won. And I did it, let's go. Oh my God, I can't wait to go on our date. Oh, it's gonna be so good, I can't wait. I'm gonna get so ready, I'm gonna get so ready. It's gonna be so, the time of your life, okay? You guys are gonna go on a date and hopefully you're gonna love it. Oh, I can't ah! wait. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I oh, can't okay, so wait. Then, oh my god. Why are you putting your my clothes on? My horny wife. Ooh. <laughs> You're going out fine. with my wife, boo. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. of course. In case guys... it doesn't work out. Well, oh, it will. Trust me. You're going to come back with a ring on your finger. But that's okay. Oh, oh. Thank I'm going to exit. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Let's Thank go, you. Well, kissing right in front of my... You have to <clears> kiss <throat> me now. I'm waiting. Oh. That was for oh. you. That wasn't for me. That was for you. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. I didn't know your lips could do that. Okay. Oh, my wow. God. All right, I gotta get out of here now. Uh, it's getting wet in here, uh, or hot uh, in here. Uh, okay, bye. 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 Thanks, bye.